And so he's telling them, don't trust in what you have or what you don't have, but trust in me. You know, that's a beautiful thing for us to learn. Uh, we can trust, I know myself, if things are going well, I find it very easy to trust. But if things aren't going well, it's amazing how many doubts and fears that I can have. And that's a great thing for us to learn, to have a good spiritual friend, someone that we can truly be ourselves with, that we can truly trust, and that helps us then to grow in faith. I couldn't believe it, because what I said to them is, everything they have is from God, their parents, their bodies, their love of basketball, their teachers, their coaches, those who believed in them, and all that comes from God. So why don't you make a good friend with God? I told them that I just pray for them and I don't pray that they win games. I pray that they don't get hurt. They respect the other team. They respect themselves. And they play for all those people who love them and who watch over them and who gave them their chances. A friend is someone whom you can be yourself with. And maybe that's what we want to pray for, that we'll be a friend to all the people that we meet. And that simply means we'll trust God and we'll be ourselves. And so he's telling them, don't trust in what you have or what you don't have, but trust in me. You know, that's a beautiful thing for us to learn. Uh, we can trust, I know myself, if things are going well, I find it very easy to trust. But if things aren't going well, it's amazing how many doubts and fears that I can have. What struck me most in this reading is Jesus telling those 70, he's saying to them, go, go and choose, have a companion. And that's a great thing for us to learn, to have a good spiritual friend, someone that we can truly be ourselves with, that we can truly trust, and that helps us then to grow in faith. Uh, I was talking to my good friend Bill Creed yesterday who called from Chicago, and he was telling me stories, and at the end he said, well, Al, since I have known you, you and I have become like old shoes. What a nice example to use. Old shoes are comfortable. I know when I buy a new pair of shoes, I'm in many ways wishing I were putting on my old ones. They, they felt better. So <clears throat> about a month ago, I was asked by somebody in the athletic department if I would give a talk to the men's basketball team. Well, to be honest, uh, I was never a sport. I, I don't even go to the basketball games. And uh, I was wondering about that, but I said yes, but then I thought it over and I called back and said, I don't think I'm the person to do this. But he said, please do it. So I said I would. And the next day, the new president of the university came to the campus ministry office and 
I got to meet her and, and she asked me what I did and, and my first answer was hurry off as I said really not much uh, but I said tomorrow this is what I'm going to do and she looked at me and she said you tell them to make a good friend with a student who's not on the basketball team. And that stuck with me. A good student who's not on the basketball team. And somehow I thought God was speaking to me through her words. And I thought, well, I, many of these men I don't know, and some I, few I know superficially but I wonder if I can be a friend and talk with them as a friend. And I trusted that. And I was really scared because I felt God was really telling me to tell them the only gift that I can give them is the gift of God. And so that's what I talked about. I couldn't believe it because what I said to them is everything they have is from God, their parents, their bodies, their love of basketball, their teachers, their coaches, those who believed in them, and all that comes from God. So why don't you make a good friend? with God. And I'm just going to tell you what happened. They stood up and applauded. And they wanted to have their picture taken with me. You see, if you trust God, I didn't know when I was up there, I knew they were listening. I could tell by the, the looks on their face. I told them I don't go to basketball games. I told them I want to live. And I told them that I just pray for them and I don't pray that they win games. I pray that they don't get hurt. They respect the other team. They respect themselves. And they play for all those people who love them and who watch over them and who gave them their chances. So I think that's maybe something we ought to listen to. A friend is someone whom you can be yourself with. And maybe that's what we want to pray for, that we'll be a friend to all the people that we meet. And that simply means we'll trust God and we'll be ourselves. And then remember what Jesus said, when two or more are gathered in my name, I am with you. So let's close our eyes for a moment and ask God to help us, first of all, to be a good friend with ourselves. <laughs> 